Welcome to Scottish Van Trips. Here we go for another trip. So this week I am heading through to Glasgow just now. An architect company that we work with is treating me to a night of comedy. I'm going to see Kevin Bridges. The plan is I'm driving through to Glasgow at the moment, park the van up at the venue, go in, have the comedy show, have the dinner and stuff, and then I'm going to jump back into the van. We're going to go up to uh, Loch Lomond and find a parking spot somewhere at the side of Loch Lomond on the way up the road. Um, really that's as far as the plan goes. It's a bank holiday weekend here in Scotland, so my plan is to go and explore somewhere beautiful that I can take photographs. I've got all my photography gear here and uh, we've got the video gear, so, so let's go and see, take some photos, see if we can get some of that amazing autumn light, all that kind of stuff. I love that kind of stuff, so I'll take you along with me. Let's see where we end up. Let's go. Good morning. What a morning it is too. So, day one of this trip really, last night I went to the comedy gig to see Kevin Bridges at the SECC and uh, I've woken up today to the, the banks of Loch Lomond. It's absolutely stunning. Have a look at this. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Wow. So, I'll put on the screen just now the place that I stayed last night. It's just a lay-by. There's quite a bit of road noise as you can probably hear just now from the A82, the road that goes up the side of Loch Lomond. But, I'll tell you what, this view is worth it. Absolutely stunning. So, I've got a conference call at 9am that I need to be online for. I want to have some breakfast, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee. Uh, I've got a bit of work to do, and I'm looking to just sort of keep leapfrogging up north until I find a nice spot to stay at, basically. I'm not planning on being in a caravan site this time because uh, it's a bank holiday weekend and quite frankly I don't think I'll get one booked, so uh, let's just jump in the van and see where we end up. So over directly opposite me just now is a hill that I've climbed a few times. It's a lovely hill. If you've never done a Monroe before and you're up in this area, I definitely recommend this one because it's got a very easy route all the way up. It's called Ben Lomond and that's it there. It's absolutely stunning. This is the Travel and Van Life podcast from Jensen to the Sunset. We're Tanya and Adam, and this is the podcast where we talk all things travel, adventure, and road trips. Through our experience and with conversations with others who, like us, have chosen an alternative lifestyle. I've not quite found the place that I'm looking for, I hope it's not too windy, but uh, I've stopped the van again just to have a look at the view here. As you can see from the loch, it's very windy. I'm hoping that this uh, 
sound thing I've got on makes a big difference. Wow, it's just incredible. Look at the view, absolutely amazing. The van's just over here in the lay-by. I don't think I'm gonna stay here tonight. It's pretty wild. I was gonna try and have a little campfire. I've got a fire pit and some logs and stuff with me. But again, it's not a level site. It's full of potholes and it's right next to quite a busy road. So I'm not gonna stop here. We'll keep on going. Just up ahead, about 20 miles away, is Kyle of Loch Alge. So we're gonna head up that way. Maybe go across the Sky Bridge. That's kinda probably the region I'm gonna end up in. But let's just keep looking. Hi guys, so I've pulled over just at the side of the road and hopefully over my shoulder here you can probably just about make out the famous scene of Elan Donnan Castle. The reason I pulled over just before it is because in the olden days you used to be able to drive up, park, take photos, all that kind of thing, but nowadays you have to pay to, to park there and stuff, which is great. I understand we need to upkeep the castle and everything else, but for me, I'm just passing through. I don't want to stop for long. I just want to take a quick photo and move on, so I'm, I'm not paying for parking. Now, here's a little quick tip for you. If you're in the same boat as me and you don't want to stop for long and just want to take a quick shot, I'll share on the map where I am just now. So in essence, let me let me show you the scene while I'm talking. You you see a sign for Elan Donnan Castle. I think it's one of the brown tourist signs as you're coming northwards. And then keep your eyes out for a P for parking sign. On the left hand side of the road, there's a parking just before you get here and you can nip in. It's usually not too busy and get a quick photo. It's quite dangerous, be careful. I'll show you what it looks like around here. Um, in fact, it's very dangerous. Don't bring young kids down here and um, just be very careful, but it's an amazing viewpoint. I'm certainly not gonna go and stand on the big rock because it looks as though it's suspended in midair.
I have arrived at Glen Brito campsite and it is absolutely stunning. Um, only one problem though, I had messaged Chris and told her that when I arrived wherever I was going I would send her a message and let her know where I am. There's no signal here. There's no signal whatsoever. Um, I've sent a WhatsApp it's not going to go so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and climb up the hill a little bit it's still early you can see the sun setting behind me uh, sunsets around about half past seven I'm not going to go mental I'm just going to try climb a little bit of the hill and see if I can get any signal there if not there's a phone box up at the reception area I've got a funny feeling it's just for a joke I don't think it's an actual phone box it's probably one of these small libraries or cake shops or something anyway I'll, I'll check that out as well because if I can stick some coins in a phone box. I don't know if those still exist now, but I'll go and check that out as well and see if we can get home and get a message to her at least so she's not worrying. Anyway, let me show you around. This is a cool place. So, I've just spoken to my neighbour and uh, apparently the phone box is real, but only accepts one pound coin. So, I'm hoping that somewhere in the van is my wallet with some money in it. If not, I might be on the scrounge. I'd quite like to telephone home and let them know I'm okay. Look at this view. So it's quarter past twelve. I was just going to sleep and I heard this enormous flying beastie. Turned the lights on and there's a bloody clegg flying around in the van. I think you call them horse flies in other part of the world. Big feckin' biting blue bottles. I've just been chasing it around the van for 15 minutes. I've got one of these blue flycatcher things and uh, it got caught in it and it was dying and then it fell out and came back to life. The thing's massive. I can't sleep in the van with that. It's going to bite my face off, man. It's gone quiet. I can't hear the bloody thing. I don't know where it is. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to go to sleep and this thing's going to bite my face. <sighs> They're so painful when they bite you. Any suggestions how to kill this thing? When it's gone into invisibility mode? Good morning. There are worse places in the world to have breakfast. Wow. It's just beautiful on sky. So, I ended up at Glen Brito campsite last night, which is absolutely stunning. Um, there's absolutely no signal whatsoever, so this morning um, I was expecting some epic sunlight and taking photographs, all that kind of stuff, but as you can see behind me, the light's quite dull. Um, so I decided to jump in the van, come along here, uh, which is just uh, on the main ring road round Sky, and I'm just going to grab some breakfast, a cup of coffee, and then uh, have a nice leisurely drive back down the road. Um, so far I've seen a couple of buzzards this morning, no deer, nothing like that, but uh, the views are absolutely spectacular. What a breakfast spot. So 
So this is Plockton, one of my favourite places in all of Scotland. Absolutely beautiful. Just look at this. Amazing views and the there's a couple of pub restaurants here that do local seafood and it's absolutely amazing. Um, September is a really good time to come here because you're just on the back of the tourist season or maybe April, May when the tourist season is just about to kick off. Um, Midsummer it can be very, very busy and I found it not to be quite as good. I mean the weather's great obviously but um, the thing about Plockton is there's like a microclimate here so there's all this kind of um winds and things like that where i mean along the, the high street there there's palm trees growing not proper palm trees obviously but there is a bit of a microclimate here and it's just absolutely gorgeous so when the tide's out you can walk out to the island just across i'll put it on the screen now um but uh, when the tide's in you get cut off so just be careful you're not on there for any length of time and um as i say yeah come here spend the night um, eat some of the seafood and then I would head from here probably Baylach, Naba and over to Apple Cross for more seafood because that's the kind of guy I am. Anyway, on the road, let's go. second at the Clooney Inn and opposite they've built a new bakehouse. I've got high hopes for it, let's see what it looks like. I'll show you some images on screen from in there just now. I bought myself a coffee and a little chocolate cookie and um, I've just come back to the van because before I have that I've got to have some lunch. Uh, so I'm going to be adulting today. <laughs> I'm going to cook myself a wee cheeky wee bacon roll, um, some tomato sauce, and then uh, I want to get back down as soon as possible. The weather's terrible. The rain's come in, as you've probably seen. And um, yeah, I just want to get down the road now. I'll stick an audiobook on. Actually, one thing I've been listening to on this trip, which I really enjoy, and I recommend you listening to, uh, there's the Jits Into the Sunset podcast. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm loving it. Um, they cover all the different travel, adventure, cost of living and all the different um, questions you might have about van life and traveling in your van and stuff so uh, picked up some really great trips uh, t picked up some really great tips and I'm absolutely loving it so uh, yeah I'd recommend you go on and subscribe and uh, follow their podcast of course if you haven't been on their YouTube channel as well get over to YouTube and type in Jits into the sunset and um, they've got a very small number of videos but they're very high quality and really well made and I highly recommend them they're really entertaining anyway let's get cooking this bacon and we'll hit the road Now you know the amount of sauce I've just put on there is going to end up all over my new jacket. There we go, bacon roll, cup of coffee and then hit the road. Let's go. Uh, what I want you to do is put into the comments just now where the most stunning campsite or uh, place you've stayed in your van is. What's the most stunning place you've ever stayed in your van? Um, chuck it in the comments below. If you're on Instagram, leave your Instagram handle there. I'll go and have a look. Um, so let me know. I want some inspiration for the next trip. Where would you go on the next trip in Scotland? Um, 
preferably not right at the top because I live right at the bottom and that's quite a long way for a weekend. So, you know, I've just been to Sky in a weekend so I'm not scared of a bit of travel but uh, yeah, leave, leave in the comments below what your favourite trip is. If you've got photos, chuck your Instagram handle on and I'll come on and give you a follow. Thanks again. Hey Van Trippers, I want to ask a favour. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a favour and hit that subscribe button. Here's a quick one for you. I was running through the analytics on my YouTube channel and 90% of the people that are watching these videos and you're not subscribed. Why have you not subscribed to my channel yet? <laughs> Come on, subscribe to the channel, help me out here. And uh, what it does, it helps with the YouTube algorithm and basically uh, shows other people who like van stuff this channel.